never before in my years and years of marketing on social media, creating content, all the things, have I seen creators on a platform begging a platform to change their ways because they want to keep using it and the platform just ignore them and basically sign their own death sentence. I did this video a few months ago when I was talking about how I'm so annoyed with Instagram because they want to be TikTok and because they want us to do these short form videos and I don't want to freaking do those. And the things that I want to do are the things that are easy for me to do because I'm already creating this YouTube content don't work well on Instagram and that I was just like thrown in the towel. I'm going to treat it as like a nurturing platform and go on about my day. And it did really well here on my channel. So I'm going to assume that a ton of y'all felt the same way. And there have even been people like Kylie freaking Jenner who are like, yo, Instagram, we don't like this. We don't want Instagram to be TikTok. We just want Instagram to be Instagram. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't think that any of the people, myself included, are like, oh, we don't ever want the platform to change because there can be some good changes like the integration of stories and story highlights and everybody being able to link. Like all of those things are awesome. But I think everybody's really annoyed at the fact that every platform on the internet right now is trying to be TikTok. At least I know I am. Like just be yourself. (laughs) So, you know, I'm always telling my kids to be leaders and not followers and not like, you know, have to be like everybody else and to be their own person because people will like them for who they are. And, uh, social media is not listening to my mama talk clearly because TikTok came out and everybody lost their freaking minds. Instagram was like, oh my gosh, we have to be just like TikTok and YouTube. Sorry, YouTube, but YouTube did the same thing. And it's very, very frustrating. I actually saw a comment on someone else's video, and I don't remember now whose video it was or where this comment came from. It doesn't matter. But the comment was basically like, well, Instagram puts focus on what does the best for them. And clearly, when they see engagement on Reels and blah, 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 that's why they're doing it. No, absolutely not. That is not what's happening. They wanted to compete with TikTok. So they came out with reels. They wanted to beat TikTok. So they decided to create reels. Then they put the algorithm in place that favors reels so that creators on the platform have no choice but to do reels. Therefore, most of the engagement is coming from reels so they can say, oh, well, everybody seems to love this type of content. So we're going to keep pushing it. No sorry, Bob. Like that's not what happened. It's kind of like when you ask a question in a way that puts the answer in the question. Like, "Mm, this doesn't look right on me, does it? Or I love this. Don't you love it? It puts the answer in the question and tells people what you want them to respond back with. And surveys can be that way. Like you can skew a survey to get people to answer the way you want them to answer. Like if I'm wanting to put a survey up on Instagram, on Instagram stories or whatever, and I'm like, what do you want to me to talk about next and I just leave it open-ended, the answer may very well be something I don't want. But if I put in options of all things that I know people, like I want to lean people towards, then the survey is skewed based on what I want. And that's exactly what Instagram has done. This video actually got like the idea in my head because I was watching Peter McKinnon's newest video, who is a massive creator on Instagram, here on YouTube, everywhere. Massive creator, has a massive following of people who want to, you know, follow him on all the places, saying that he's annoyed and he's moving to other platforms. Now, it's weird because I would love for another platform to take Instagram's place. If they're not going to listen to us, and do what we want them to do, then I would love to see another platform take their place. The problem is we're just continuing to do what Instagram wants us to do. So like, it's just like this big cycle where I don't know if that'll ever happen, but I do love that creators like Peter McKinnon are trying to move their following that was on Instagram over to other places. But it's funny because the CEO of Instagram is always like, we're listening to you. We're here for you, creators. We want to be here for the creators. Bull poopy pants. That is not what's happening, like at all. And it's very, very frustrating. It's frustrating to watch as like a person who watches things. It's frustrating to study as like a marketer and a content creator. It's frustrating for me as a creator, like what I want to do on the platform or what I want to do with my content. 
it's just frustrating all the way around. There are literally like hundreds of thousands of people begging for Instagram to just go back to what Instagram is at its core and what we all love. And it's like they're just sitting there like, la, 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 I can't hear you. And they're just freaking ignoring us. We're going to always listen to feedback, but we're not only going to listen to press cycles. We're also going to focus on how people use Instagram. We're going to focus on people's answers to surveys when we ask them how they feel about Instagram. And honestly, this may sound dramatic, but I think this will be the death of Instagram. I think at some point, some platform is going to come and swallow up Instagram. And had they not tried to be TikTok, they would have had a foothold in what they are and what they were known for. Like, if you think about all the platforms we create content on, they should all be different. They should all be like, if you like to create long form videos, be on YouTube. If you like to create short form videos or dance around, be on TikTok. If you like to you know, take beautiful photos and post them for people to see, be on Instagram. If you like to just have text and limit yourself to however many characters, then go to Twitter. Like, they shouldn't all be the same thing. And so it's really frustrating when they are all trying to be the same thing. And we don't need 72 platforms that are trying to do the same thing. And it's really interesting to me because supposedly these platforms like Instagram and YouTube who are like, well, the, the future of content and the future of consumption is short form video. Yet TikTok's videos are getting longer and longer and longer. They started at 15 seconds. Then they got to 30. Then we went to 60 then we went to 90. Now we have three minute videos and they are experimenting with 10 minute videos. So that's not true. They are literally just following the leader who's going to lead them straight off the freaking cliff. So this is just me ranting. Honestly, there's no point to this video other than to say Instagram. If you're listening, stop it. We have TikTok. We don't need another TikTok. We want a photo sharing app. We want something like Instagram used to be pre-reels. That's what we want. And I guess that's all.